Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with a rookie scouting portfolio. We're going to take a quick look at George Pickens, number one wide receiver at the bottom left of the screen. You're going to watch him run a back shoulder fade route, and it's a good catch. He's going to work outside. He's going to get a couple of steps on the defender and then come to a jump turn, make the catch, get pulled backward at the very end of the catch. That's an important point to remember. And we're going to talk about that in a moment and stay in bounds. Let's look at it from this angle. JT Daniels with the nice, accurate throw. And you're going to see um, Pickens right here. The ball's practically overhead. He hasn't even begun his leap yet. So he's late on his leap. That's the first thing. He needs to time this leap a little bit earlier. And I'll tell you why. Because when he makes this jump, now he has to jump and turn. And when you have to do a jump turn, you're more likely to be leaning backwards at that point. And he's leaning backwards and he has to bring he brings the arms up while he's leaning backwards because he thinks he's avoiding the defender who was at his front hip. Now the defender's behind him and now he has to pull it back down. And now the defender gets his hands on Pickens and pushes him down, but already in the direction that he was already going and leaning. And when you lean backwards, when you have to do a jump turn and lean backwards, what happens is two things. One is that you're more likely when the defender overruns you to expose the ball to him when he gets behind you. That's what happens right there, right? And you, you know, very close to the defender being in a position to pull that ball away. Number two, because you're leaning back, now it's harder for you to stay in bounds because you've had to kick up one leg as you're falling and you have one on the ground. Now in the college game, that's okay. He's, as long as he secures the ball, he's got it. But in the pros, he's got to get two feet in. And it's harder to get two feet in like that without before your butt or your back hits the boundary. So you've made it more difficult. So the thing that you want to see, a guy like Jamar Chase, who is a rare talent, and was one of the highest player, highest graded players I've ever graded in the rookie scouting portfolio over the past 17 years of um, doing the publication. One of the things that he does is he comes to a stop earlier, he turns earlier, and then leaps. So then he can leap straight up and down. Or when he makes a leap turn, he makes sure that he's leaping back towards the ball. This is something that Pickens has to learn because otherwise... If he's leaning backwards, he's not getting the most out of his height. And at 6'3", with the length that he has, long arms, he should be maximizing his length. And that means that he can leap earlier, extend higher, and the defender's going to be out of reach from the... He's not. It's going to be out of reach for the defender to get the ball. And then he can turn away from the defender as he's coming down and avoid him entirely and still get his feet in bounds and be in more control because he's leaping up straight up and then coming straight down if he can do this he can become a formidable perimeter player he's already a promising wide receiver for sure as an athlete and certainly with certain technical aspects of his game but the better he can be at his positioning and using his height and length and his athletic ability to jump and hand-eye coordination to maximize the position to make all those things work in tandem, the better he can wind up. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP's Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.